Today's a special video. Today's video is a Q&A between me and We Are Rumi. We Are Rumi are a couple who are engaged and are getting married in like nine months. And they're vlogging their engagement and just their relationship in general while they're going through this really exciting part of their lives. And so a couple of weeks ago on their channel, I asked them a load of questions. That, that one is already up on their channel. I'll link it below. I will link their channel. I'll link the video. And basically, this is the reverse. Their questions for me and Abby. Let's get to it. Hey Liam. And hey Abby. Hi guys. So we have a couple of questions for you guys. Aside from being across the seas, we were pretty interested in a few things that hopefully you guys can answer for us. You don't know what any of these questions are yet. No, that was the point. <laughs> I wanted to leave it as a surprise. I want so the first one is, how did you guys meet? Do you want to tell it or do you want me to? Um, what if we have different stories? <laughs> we should have filmed this separate and I could have given my answer and then we could have cut to your oh, eyes. We could have answer. done it like Mr. <laughs> and Mrs. We could have had paddles and everything. Paddles. <laughs> in school? We were in high school. Um, and at the time we had what we call mobile classrooms. I don't know whether you guys get that, but it's basically like a, a makeshift, like a shipping just like, container. Yeah, <laughs> what called it the box. It was called box, yeah, because it didn't have windows. It was kind of like the the music room at the time. Um, yeah, there was a drum kit in there, and we used to go in there at lunch and just make a lot of noise. Yeah, like there was like you know a good sort of five or six of us um, in this music room. One of our best friends at the time used to play the drums, so that was how we met. Was through my boyfriend at the time. Um, playing music with Liam. And I was hilarious and you fell in love with me pretty he much straight away. He was funny. He was really funny. And he had the worst hair at the time as well. It was Are you like... joking? Look at my hair now. I look like everyone's dad from the 70s. Yeah, we, he needs a haircut. <laughs> but, um, yeah, at the time it was bleached blonde and it had these perfect little spikes in it. Like, Google Gareth Gates. Yeah. Like that, but bleached. But Eminem colour. With these big chubby cheeks. And, but he was funny. I'll try and find the picture and put it in. Yeah. What's one food you would like to try from the U.S. that you've never tried before? So we'd like to try from the U.S. From the U.S. I, I think we have s'mores. S'mores. Yes. S'mores. Do we not All have the most, snacks. Do we not have All most snacks? <laughs> do we not already have <laughs> most American food over here anyway? Yeah. Well, I don't know. I think we can get hold of things better now than we could. I think before. you guys have a better selection of sweets and no. snacks. Uh, S I... American cereal. All of your cereal looks like it's made of. Play -Doh. Oh, it looks like it's made from like dreams, nuclear waste, and polystyrene. <laughs> but <laughs> um, I just think American sweets and everything like that is just so different to ours, and they're all massive and they all have really cool names. And like s'mores, s'mores is just one of those things. It's like what are they called? Like graham crackers, graham crackers. I have no idea. G gra gr <laughs> <laughs> graham. Um, and then marshmallows and chocolate and you melt it like on um, on a on a barbecue, like a campfire. And stick um, a marshmallow with something. Uh, yeah, and it's all melty and chocolatey and marshmallowy and that. But you know, the, the window of opportunity to whip out a campfire in the UK is very slim and when we do it's just like blob a sausage on and get back in the house before it rains. <laughs> 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 There's no time to sit around and make s'mores. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Okay. Lava sausage on. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I reckon. <laughs> oh, and Target. Target, I know that's not trying something from the US, but Target looks like a really cool shop. I always see people on like Instagram that have got really nice house things, and they always tag it as from Target. It's then like dreams crushed as soon as we see that it's from Target because we can't get it. Yeah. So that, s'mores and Target. I've heard the McDonald's in America is better as well. Yeah, I'm not excited. I don't know. Ronald himself might make the burgers in America. Yeah. Well, all the more reason not to go. What is the best thing about where you live? Best thing about where we live? We, um, we've just moved. <laughs> we have just moved like a week ago today. Hence us doing this in the car because life is just a bit mental. Really. Favorite um, thing about where we are now though? We're so close to everybody. It's everybody, convenience. everything. Yeah, I mean, where we moved from was a gorgeous, gorgeous place um, in Cheshire, which was just countryside and lovely pubs and so much greenery and farms and it was absolutely gorgeous, but it was so far away. There was no train station. There was one bus 
once, once a day. But it took me an hour and a half to get to work every day. Fre if friends and family were going to come over to ours, we had to like schedule it in. It was three, three weeks in advance. It was, a big it was thing. yeah, it was, and then they'd have to stay over, which is great for us. But you know, it's just it had to happen, otherwise it was just difficult. Yeah. And but now, now, everybody's on the doorstep. Like yeah. our best friends like walk to our house the other day, and it took me twelve minutes to walk to our house, and that's just that's amazing. My family right around the corner, Liam's family right around the corner. Our best friends are like within walking distance. I don't need to rely on Liam to get to work. What, what about life is better? Oh, do they mean like in England? I'm, that's what I'm thinking, here in general, or this part of England, what do we like about it? The Wirral, which is, oh, you're not gonna, so where England is, if you think of a map of England, um, and Wales sort of sticks out on the left hand side, we are the little nubbin right on the top of Wales, um, like a peninsula. We're like the nubbin in between Wales and Liverpool. Um, and I think the good thing about living there is the entire of the Wirral Peninsula is like really, really close to both Liverpool and Chester. Yeah, it's and really both, close to countryside and yeah, city and, and even the Wirral itself. And, and Wales, it's so close to the Wales, which is like full yeah. of beaches and loads of nice places to go. It's close to go everything. for walks. If you're talking about where we are in England, there's a really good variety of everything around us, very close. We can get anywhere very quickly. Yeah. England as a whole is quite small anyway, obviously, compared yeah. to you guys. So you could get all the way up to Scotland in like four hours and in get a, all the way down day. to London and, and about the same. And... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, next question. Besides vlogging, what's another hobby you both like doing? Roundabout. Take the, <laughs> the roundabout. <laughs> Pop down, Siri. Besides vlogging, what other hobbies do we have that we like doing? Um, I don't really do the vlogging thing, as you can probably tell. Ooh, Ooh we're gonna go through the Mersey Tunnel now, that's a thing. Ooh, I think Liam is filming the other side of the tunnel, <laughs> being a good vlogger. This is where they filmed, as fellow Harry Potter fans, this is where they filmed um, Hagrid and Harry being chased and they were driving up through the tunnel, this was through here. <laughs> Today was a good camper van day because, well, yesterday it wouldn't start. Well, it was the spark plugs in the end. Yeah, yeah. Which today, for the first time, I changed the spark plugs and I've never done that before ever. We kind of knew it needed doing. Like we talked about it before, and I'll make Magic Lee, who looks after us, um, whenever we Is that his name, Magic Lee? Yeah. I reckon there's loads of different types of Lees. There's Magic like a, Lee. Yeah, that's I know like, a serious Lee. <laughs> <laughs> What's the one? Oh, I feel really sorry for her, unfortunately. <laughs> what? What was the one on that program? Precisely. Precisely. Yeah, <laughs> and precisely. total wipeout. Yeah, total wipeout. Um, anyway. Anyway. Um, yeah, so we changed the spark plugs today and it started up. In fact, I'm gonna, have you still got that clip saved on your phone? Or? Yes! So yeah, the camper van. We've done so much to this van and I still yeah. I still need to do a video where I tell the, the entire history of our owning this camper van and what's gone wrong and what's. That's going to be a long video. Yeah, how long have you got? Yeah, it even gonna... caught fire. <laughs> Any other hobbies? I like to read a lot. Yeah, Abby likes to read a lot. A lot. <laughs> to the point where I'll be trying to do something else and have a book in the other hand. And I encourage it because I like to watch loads of YouTube so <laughs> I get to do that while you're reading. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah. YouTube, reading, camper vans, and now the house. The house yeah. is a oh, big hobby at the minute. And I really... love stuff like that. I love decorating. Yeah. Decorating and like both... interior design is like my favourite, favourite thing. So I'm We're all both about really that. enjoying that at the minute. Next question. Mm -hmm. So, your guys' wedding ended up being in an article. Um, our question is what do you think made it so unique, so special? I think two things. Yeah, and Ooh, I, I, I wanna, I'm, three. all okay. right. Well, I'm gonna try and guess. Oh, you've done three now. Uh, so that's, okay. So I'm gonna try and guess what they are. Okay. That we did it ourselves. Yes. And that we spent hardly any money on it. Yes. I don't know what your third thing is. Um, that it was really colourful. Yeah. I think that's yeah. a big thing. Like, not many weddings are very colourful. They always have very toned down. Yeah. But for us, a wedding that looks like everyone else's wedding is just totally pointless because yeah. we needed it to look like our day and look like our wedding yeah. and be exactly what we wanted because let's face it, it costs a shitload of money. 
I think as well the the whole point of getting married is to celebrate two individuals and how they want to spend their lives together and you're celebrating them as individuals and as a couple and I think if you don't put your soul into a wedding then what's the point then you know it doesn't represent you and I think that was one of the good things about our wedding was that it had lots of colour in it, it had lots of silliness, we had like Harry Potter quotes, we exchanged yeah. rings to the inscription from Lord of the Rings, like the, the ring inscription. Um, I just think... It was just so us, we're like, because yeah. we got to decide so much of it and we had no one pressuring us to do anything a certain well, way. Well, we did a bit, but we just told them no. Yeah, we just ignored um, it and, and did our own thing, and then because we made... Like all of the, oh, I'm like fighting a bear. <laughs> we made we all made all the, the decorations, decorations ourselves. Um, um, we made a we made a lot of things ourselves. We did the table decorations, all the room decorations. Um, my dress was vintage that we then had altered. Um, I wore like bright yellow Vivian Westwoods and then swapped them for purple Converse and. Yeah, and I just, wore Vans and so did my two yeah, best with men. Yeah, Batman belts. Didn't oh, yeah, we all had Batman belt buckles and wore wore Vans and. Yeah, it, it was... just it felt like us and it, it felt right yeah. and I think the combination of that plus it cost the entire thing cost us just under was it three grand? Just under three. I think it was just under three, but that was absolutely everything. So and was, uh, the photographer was seventeen hundred pounds of that, so you know, that just shows how little we yeah. managed to spend on everything else, including your dress, the food. Yeah. Everything. But we did that on purpose because we knew at the end of the day the only thing that would last is the photography. What relationship advice do you have for soon-to-be newlyweds? Yeah. <laughs> Basically, the camera died when we were filming in the car, and so we're filming it at home days later. Uh, a week. Yeah, the beard's longer, the hair's shorter, your hair's Let's make taller. Up. <laughs> you don't have an audience. What advice for newlyweds? Yeah, taller. Um, yeah. There's been so many times where I've just kind of gone along with what you want to do and just gone yes, 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 and and we've done it and it can, I've got myself to a point where I'm so fed up with not having my own way that it just turns into a huge argument. Yeah, and doesn't realise that he doesn't have his own way until much later. Yeah. Um, and is then absolutely fuming. <laughs> <laughs> Over something <laughs> tiny by that point. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah gotta be transparent. Like the whole way through, be honest with each other and be honest but with each other. But just talk about everything. Talk about everything. Yeah. Talk yeah. about how you feel on that day. Talk about how shit worked well. Talk about, you know, I don't want that for tea or don't like that you said that to me before. Or once you've done that sort of thing a couple of times, you never, it's never really an issue again. But if yeah. you don't say something, then the other person's not going to know that it bothers you. You know, it might be nothing to them. They've not done it on purpose, they've not done it to hurt you. It's just something that they've said or done or not done. And it's only by you saying that they realise and it's not a problem. Trying to keep the peace by no conflict at all yeah. results in... Two unhappy people. And a, a bigger conflict as a result of yeah. one of you not getting your way and not speaking up about it. Mm. And if you're constantly negotiating over the thing, like, it's your team, aren't you? you, you you've got That's to... point. Yeah. Yeah, that's why you get married. Yeah. Two Z's, not one Z's. <laughs> so. <laughs> Talk about everything. The two-way um, thing, every time. And, I mean, we very, very rarely argue. Um, yeah, we'll, moan at each other. We'll say things like that to each other, like, and, why have you put that there? Or, well, you say it to me. And and, <laughs> <laughs> and you get in my way. That's like, I Yeah, say, I get told off constant. being in his way all the time. Get out of the way. But you know what? I can never predict which way is in his way. <laughs> Sometimes I'll be the other room, and he's like, get out of the way. Talk about things. <laughs> all right. Okay, and here is another one for both of you. Um, if you could use one spell from Harry Potter, which one would it be? And why? And why? What did we say? Espresso Patronum. Oh, because you wanted <laughs> so, more coffee. So that I can just have an endless no, supply. No, it was Expecto Petroleum. I want both of them. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, expecto petroleum, we yeah. decided, because fuel is expensive, and we have one camper van, and then we've got the mini, but both are fun, so we can't complain. Fuel. Expecto petroleum, uh, for an endless supply of, of petrol would be good, and <laughs> espresso petroleum for an endless supply of espressos would be good as well. Not so much for me. I can have, like, one in the morning, and that's, that's me done. If I have another one, even, like, still in the morning, I'm absolutely screwed for bedtime. So it's got to be a morning thing? Yeah, it's got to be one, once we, a day. 
we might as well have Wingardium Levy toaster as well so we can do full breakfast. No? <laughs> no then. Wow. <laughs> we'll leave it there because the video is like 13 minutes already. Bye. Bye.